Burlington, Vermont. Burlington, Vermont was important to me because I really wanted to get up to the corner in Maine. There was a very interesting phenomena there that intrigued the hell out of me. And it's where I started, but by the time I added all this other data, which took quite some time really, um, we stopped blasting Quebec. So I don't know if the French surrendered again or if we got tired because they liked it. But we quit firing upon them. But we'll see when we get up there. One more station up the line, I think. And then I picked a couple that were at the other extreme, Jacksonville, San Diego. And then recently I added some of the Long Valley, California areas. Burlington, Vermont is probably a very mountainous area. At the top of the Appalachian chain goes a little bit up into Canada and down into about Georgia perhaps. But they're old mountains. They're gentle hills. They're nothing like the Rockies. In fact, it's a delightful place to grow up as a kid. In Dalton, Massachusetts. Home of Crane and Eaton Paper Companies. Where they made all the paper for U.S. money and government bonds. Which was cool when the dollar would buy something. Wow. Those clouds came in bright red. That's worth going back and looking at for a second. Yeah. Look at these clouds coming in bright red. There's not even a scale there that color. And then they just evaporated, dissipated. But again, I'm a software person, so unintended features Others call them artifacts, perhaps. A misinterpretation. Look at the lobe nature of that. There's a, a hidden beam in there. So there's two more big series after this. Burlington CXX.